I have a savory and a sweet cheese board to show you. To me, a good cheese board should be a feast for the eyes first. So I like to keep it as natural as possible. My favorite is to use a wooden cheese board, but you use whatever you have available and whatever you like. There's no rules. So let's walk through our savory cheese board first. I used a Spanish Manchego, which is very robust cheese, and then also an aged white cheddar, and third is a fresh boursin cheese that's got some garlic and fine herbs, so it's a fresh, spreadable, creamy cheese. And then you can start to fill in with other ingredients, like fruits or vegetables or meats or crackers. Now for a savory cheese board, the vegetables I like to use are either pickled or this is a good place to bring in some marinated olives. And to display marinated olives in a tall, clear glass like this, it just adds to the visual presentation and is really nice. Then I love to kind of present it a little bit different and stack Triscuit crackers and towers. So there's a little bit variety of height. And then for a meat, I love to choose a hot capicola. I also love serving this with fresh rosemary because it's such a beautiful herb this time of year. One of my favorite things to put on is fresh red grapes because they're mellow, but they're sweet and they will pair well with every bite of cheese on this board. There's so many different little bites that you can put together on your beautiful savory cheese board. I like to think of a sweet cheese board as a story, so let me walk you through it. First, I choose three different cheeses and always remember to serve your cheese at room temperature. The reason is the taste buds on the tongue can pick up the flavor of the cheese the most if it's at room temperature rather than too cold. So the three cheeses I like to choose for a cheese board are Parmigiano Reggiano, and then over here we have a Cranberry Stilton, and then a delicious and my favorite tiramisu mascarpone. Now you'll notice these cheeses kind of tell a story because they're from most aged to least aged. So from there, drop in again, different elements. When it comes to fruits, I like to use a variety. So our flavors pairings go from sweet with this fig spread to tangy with Granny Smith apples and cranberries and then to rich with the dark chocolate. So this season, keep in mind with all of these tips, the possibilities for your cheese board are endless. For these ideas and many more, visit albertsons.com.